we're going to talk about this software today and it has issues from time to time and we're also going to cover over the different modes and the performance of the different modes and what they do um, but first what i want to do is i want to go on to talk about that if you have any issues with this software which i'm using windows 11 right now and um there's been a lot of issues with the software where it wouldn't launch it won't start up basically the easiest and quickest fix is to been uninstall it and reinstall it a matter of fact the last update for windows 11 it would not show the c drive only d and i uninstalled it reinstalled it and it still didn't show it so i uninstalled it and then i ran a registry cleaner i use cc cleaner and i just scan for some issues I mean, you can back them up, things like that, but typically, usually I only back something up like maybe after an update so that the cleaner doesn't take something out that's important of the update that it may not know that should stay in there, something like that. Um, and you can clean these out. And then if you clean these out, I'd recommend rebooting also after that and reinstall the software. That will get rid of the files most likely for most people that were causing the problems where it wouldn't install work properly or C drives. All right, so next thing is we have some performance operation, <laughs> optimization. Um, one of the things is that I noticed when the new software come out versus the old with this is seven, is that I was looking, you know, I think when I updated, upgraded into Windows 11, it put it in standard mode. Well, standard mode, over provisioning is disabled and i'm like well that's not good because over provisioning is something even by samsung's words is something that you want it improves performance it extends the life except if you have windows xp so i'm like well that's not good but i left it there for a few days just to see how things were going and then thought about it and was like okay let's get back into this and look at it and i said well i'm just gonna go full performance mode this is a gaming pc high-end pc has thousand watt power supply everything like that does generate a good amount of heat but your drives are super important and critical and these drives are pretty expensive i mean i think they're sometimes they're between 350 400 dollars um i have a couple of them in there and um i've been using them for quite a while they get they get heavy use with me installing and uninstalling games things like that um you know movies editing saving files back and forth a lot that's why i have these drives to start with is so i can transfer files back and forth from each other and not wait um but high performance mode it has a problem it's it's not really anything high performance to tell you the truth i mean when i ran so i can grab it these right here a little while ago there's not really much of a difference or what you would consider within a margin of error um, that these numbers would all be different every time you ran it anyways, but they would all be similar or close. They're not going to be exact numbers every time. And that has a lot of different variables. We're not going to go into the variables of why it would be, but they all are within margin of error. The only number that you see that coincides with performance to standard to power saving is this bottom number right here so and um it's not much of a difference to tell you the truth i mean the biggest difference with these 980 pros is being pci4 which i wasn't so i was getting about half of this and that was only because of the support i had at the time with the 10900k so i mean i'm happy just getting double now um but performance mode standard mode and power save mode power save mode if you have a laptop i would use it automatically i mean you need to conserve your battery so power saving mode would be for somebody who has a laptop that's not plugged in that wants to generate a little less heat possibly because it's not on all the time the drive and help preserve the battery and it gives you the trim and over provisioning and if we look at trim trim is important because it helps increase performance and extends the life of the drive, just like Samsung says right here. So, I mean, these are these are two things you want on, I would think. I mean, I want them on. And they have been on all the drives I've been using since I've been using Samsung 
I think 950 Pro was my first drive. Okay, now why would you not want to have this one on? Well, if you look at the numbers with them all on, they're all the same. So the only thing that full performance mode is really supplying that it matters or whatever, you know, is that it keeps the drive powered 100% pretty much all the time. Well, you don't want that. And um, another thing that is funny is when you go to change it, Samsung even gives this warning right here. So it's, wait a minute, so why are they giving this warning? It's like, this makes no sense. These drives should be good. Their software should not make it to where you're using their own software and it would void your warranty. So it's like, wh why is that there? Well, also at the same time, if we look, it has a smart thermal solution. So what's going on here? So are we overriding the smart thermal guard? <laughs> no, we're not. So what is it, Samsung? What is the deal? I mean, do they need to reword it? Probably. Anyhow, let's get back to it. What would be the best mode to use? Well, standard, you're not getting your over provisioning, so why would you want to use that? Full performance, your drive's on all the time. I mean, when I'm on my computer, my drive's going the whole time anyways. When I walk away from it and everything else kind of like throttles down, the drive won't be throttling down. Well, I don't want that, right? I mean, this is important. It holds critical information. Um, it's not like it has a fan on it. Um, they're they're good though, without a fan. Okay. And power save. I mean, I really don't need power save because I'm not on a laptop. So, and I have custom, which you can see I would do the same as power save. So, I just do power save, and I mean. If you think about it, full performance mode, you're getting that anyways. If we look at the numbers right here, they're all within a margin of error. They're very close together. They're not going to matter. Um, so full performance mode, ah, waste of time. The drive when you're using the system is basically full performance mode anyways. When you walk away and your system goes into standby, that drive is still going to be full performance mode, which you don't want it full performance mode when it's not being used. So, I mean, the only itty bitty thing I can see is if you have a lot of system memory RAM, where maybe the the drive wasn't being hardly used at all, you'd want full performance mode while you're gaming, possibly. But I haven't seen anything to validate that or to make it make it worthwhile to even consider when you know I, you know the other thing i thought about too is like okay so does this mean that you know is my drive on standby right now that i'm not using it no it's it's still going 100 percent. we can run this it'll go it'll kick on it's not it's not much of a difference so basically a conclusion if you're looking at these three modes what to go through if power saving mode i would say laptop preserve battery life reduce heat because full performance mode would leave the drives on all the time um, and would generate heat and use power where you're in a laptop and you want to preserve your battery life, typically. If you're plugged in the wall, then maybe, but it's not. I mean, I don't know. And then standard mode, it, if we look at the modes again, we see what we're missing. I mean, here we have everything. That's good. Standard mode, we don't. Now, if I want over provisioning, we saw what it does, right? So if I turn that on, guess what? I'm in custom mode, which is the same thing as power save mode, basically. So, and I haven't seen anything that warrants making it start up quicker or slower. I mean, it's, it's electricity, right? Power in this. It's, it's like a light switch. It's like instant on. So it's just silly. All right. And I think the last thing I wanted to look at was, so yeah, I didn't bring this one up here, but I mean, we talked about it. And here I'll put the numbers up on here to look at again like that. Run these tests, you can see that it's it's within a margin of error. It doesn't matter. I feel like this is just getting beat up over and over and over. All right, any questions, leave a, leave a comment, whatever. I'll talk to you guys later.